Well, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson and time to dive in to the tropics. Glad you found us and I think this is good news to report. We've really been tracking a tropical wave in the Atlantic. I I think for a whole week now and finally got upgraded to an invest that would be 91 L. So if you've been keeping track at home, we've got invest 91 L and it is falling apart. I, I was convinced that this was going to be Gabriel, but I think I'm not going to be correct on this one. Uh, it has really run into some problems. And again, this is all good news. I don't think we need to be sad about this at all, but look how this is falling apart within the last 12 hours or so officially the now the now National Hurricane Center has dropped those probabilities or those chances to, for it to become a tropical cyclone down to 20%. Those showers have just begun to lose its, disor this, its organization, so it's become even more disorganized. It's definitely having some trouble with any sort of closed circulation. And that drier air is really getting sucked into that. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you sort of the final oof that's kind of given it the problems here for sure. But again, this is Invest 91L. Now, the computer models are not really showing you the strength that it would become if it were to hold on. But once you start getting some of this kind of confusion here where some of them are like, hey, let's go this way. And the others are like, let's go this way. That, that disorganization that happens a lot of times when you don't have anything concrete to work with. And for sure, that's what we're looking at right now. There's just not a lot to work with for the computer models to figure out what's going to happen. And here's the final sort of just thing that cannot be overcome, and that's that Saharan dust. Notice how thick or how dark this shading is right here, and it is just getting sucked right into whatever life that it had, and it's sucking it out. So if we future cast this, we're again future casting the dust and wherever this would end up going. It just all kind of that darkest section trying to develop into that. It's not going to happen if it were to have gotten lucky where it could have tried to follow a track that was in these lighter portions of the dust might have had a little bit of a better chance. And that was some of the expectations in some of these previous runs of when we're talking about like four or five days ago, it did look like this would kind of be out ahead of some of this dust just a little bit so that it would have a better chance of surviving. But remember that dust is drier air and the tropical systems do not like drier air. They need that very humid air, that warm air. And that's just not happening when we bring in that Saharan dust. And like I said, I was convinced that this was going to be Gabrielle. I thought we were going to put another check on the list. I thought this, I was optimistic at least that it would stay out in the Atlantic like uh, Aaron and Fer Fernand both did. But in this case, it just looks like we're losing any sort of probabilities of this actually becoming a tropical cyclone. And, you know, we're keeping track here. We keep we 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 continue to think that there will be more activity or continued. Let's call it continued activity because that's what the history books show. That's what normally happens in this time of the year. Although the last couple of years we've had a little bit of a quiet August and a quiet start to September and then things kind of get backloaded on the end. You know, we get a quite a bit of activity uh, on that backside. So that's going to kind of wrap it up for what I want to talk about today. But a quick reminder before I let you go, though, if you're on YouTube and you're watching right now, I want you to click over and look for my YouTube channel. If you're not on YouTube, I encourage you to do so. This is a fantastic way. Even the NFL is getting into YouTube now because it's all over the world. And I know that we've got viewers who check in with our tropical updates all over the world on our YouTube. But if you're there or if you're not there, get to YouTube and in that search bar for YouTube, put in meteorologist John Dawson or hurricane gear test. That's hurricane gear test. You're going to get to see my hurricane preparedness or just generic emergency preparedness segment. Lots of ideas to get your brain going. We got to stay prepared for hurricane season and even it's a year round pursuit now. Just be ready for the unexpected, whether it's man-made or natural made. We've got uh, situations where there are definitely emergencies that we need to be ready for. And this hurricane gear test, this segment I want you to check out, will give you some ideas and ways to kind of stay with that. All right, that'll do for it. To, that'll do us for today. We'll make sure and check back with you again here tomorrow on the Tropical Forecast.